You gonna beat me like a slave? Oh wow! An argument over refrigerator repair escalates into ugly racial threats. And now a West Valley man is taking legal action and police have reopened the case. Team 12's Michael Doudna has more from the man on the receiving end of those threats. Oh, Robin. You gonna beat me like a slave? Oh, wow! An argument caught on camera spiraling out of control. Go ahead, touch me. Go ahead. What are you going to do ahead. with the what ball? Do? Ricky Barnes, the man recording the incident, is calling for police to arrest the man he says made threats against him and his family. I was threatened. My wife was threatened. My nine-year-old son had to witness this. Barnes is an Air Force veteran, and he says on January 20th, a technician from J&H Appliances in Goodyear came out to fix a fridge in the garage. An argument over a warranty soon escalated to Barnes grabbing a metal pole and the technician making physical and racial threats. Yeah, I got this pole in my hand because he said he gonna beat me like a slave. He said he gonna beat my So why did this company send me this trashy mess here? Barnes handed his recording over to the police who then contacted the technician by phone. According to a police report provided to 12 News by Barnes's lawyer, the technician denied making racial threats and refused to give his last name. The investigation was initially made inactive because according to the report, officers did not know where or who the technician was. Yeah. Don't, yourself. Don't, don't, be, yourself. don't be threatening me on my property. But now the investigation is active again as Barnes is calling for justice. You gonna beat me like a slave? Oh, wow. We reached out to JNH, but they referred us to lawyers who have not answered any of our questions. We're in Avondale, Michael Delna, 12 News. What's up, YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope you guys are doing well out there on this uh, nice, beautiful Thursday. I'm doing pretty good myself. Oh, uh, wow. You guys, you uh, you see that? You hear what this uh, this motherfucker said? You know, um, refrigerator repairman. You understand? Uh, I told this brother right here <laughs> that he would beat him like a slave. Wow. Um... Uh, this brother right here is so much more better than me. Um, I tip my hats to you. I commend you for your composure. You understand? Uh, because uh, after, you know, if that hadn't been me, you know, I'm sure after that fucker said something like that to me, we would have had to test his claims. You know, we would have had to put him to the test. You know, and that's just the way I see it. it. It wouldn't have ended very well for him for speaking in such manners. And I suggest that these companies, you know, start uh, screening and vetting these employees, you know, that, in, that actually represents their company a lot more better than they do before they send them out into the public. You understand? Because, uh, Public relations matter. You know, you have to know how to talk to people. And being that, more than likely, when this fucking uh, uh, low life uh, racist, because he he's definitely that. You know what I mean? Went to this brother's house and seen how nice it was. More than likely, he already had these kind of thoughts in his mind in the first place to get belligerent. You know, uh, a lot of them. You know, the racers running their fucking mouths, putting their health and their lives in jeopardy. You understand? They're not thinking. Maybe because they're non progressive in thought and, you know, they're not weighing the consequences to their words. You know? Let's get into the story. As we know, it says here man threatens to beat Avondale veteran like a slave during argument caught on camera. The recording showed a man yelling that he would be an Avondale man like a slave. Wow. Whew. Uh, to continue, this happened in Phoenix, of course. A valley man is calling for police to act after a repairman was caught on camera threatening to beat him like a slave. Ricky Burns is an Air Force veteran who lives in Avondale. He was trying to get his refrigerator repaired on January 20th. A technician from J&H 
microwave and appliance sent out a man for a repair okay they sent him out and you know that that makes him liable at the very least this motherfucker right here who came out here talking like this should lose his job okay he needs to lose his job you know and the threats need to be you know it needs to go on until law enforcement needs to you know take over and something really needs to be done about it to continue, according to a police report provided by Barnes' attorneys, an argument over the warranty quickly escalated. Barnes would grab a metal pole while the technician made threats. Barnes started to record the interactions after he said the technician used a racial slur. I was threatened. My wife was threatened. My nine-year-old son had to witness this, Barnes said. In the video, a man can be heard yelling explicatives at Barnes and said he would beat Barnes like a slave. <laughs> um, the two would continue to yell at each other until the technician drove off. Yeah, and if you heard the technician was like, what are you going to do with the pole? He wouldn't have had a chance to ask me that. He would have already been knowing what I've been doing with the fucking pole. But see, that's me, you know? That, you know, that that, 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 that may have not been good on my behalf, but nevertheless, that's, I'm sure, what, what would have happened, you know. But now, but I digress. Burns called JNH after the incident and was told the technician's name was Jared. According to the police report, Burns handed over his footage. When police tried to call the technician, the man answered, claiming his name was Peter. The man never gave his last name. The technician claimed he never used a racial slur. The investigation was initially made inactive because police did not know the technician's name of his or his whereabouts. And I'm calling bullshit on that because it's all you have to do is go to the place where the bastard works, ask the company, you know, the supervisor who... Who is this guy that was involved in this altercation? You know, do your fucking police, you know, your, 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 your job. Do your fucking job. You're just trying to get this motherfucker out. To continue here, justice is to be fine. No, ju justice is to find the individual. Hold him accountable for his actions, Barnes said. In an email, Avondale police said the investigation into what happened is ongoing. 12 News reached out to JNH, but referred, but were referred to their lawyers. Despite multiple calls, the lawyers never answered any questions. They covering for this motherfucker. You know, and for the company that this bastard work at, you cover for him. Guess what? You pay for him. You pay for him. How about that? How about that? They got this sorry motherfucker on camera in one of your company trucks. You understand? You, if he's worth that much to your fucking company, then I'm, I'm, I'm sure you wouldn't mind, you know, uh, giving Mr. Barnes a nice, healthy, you know what I mean, uh, settlement. You see? Because this has been made to the public. He's got all the proof that this fucker said something like that. You see how Mr. Barnes handled things? That was very smart. Very, very smart of Mr. Barnes. You know? Me, on the other hand, not so much. You know, I, I would have been very, very stupid. You know what I'm saying? After the fact, you know, of what I've done. You see? And then regretted it after I had done these things. But nevertheless, I would have had some sort of spiritual fulfillment. You see? But you guys tell me what y'all think about this story right here. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts, views, and opinions on it. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. People, please remember to live your life as though we are being watched. Simply because we are, this is James and I'm out. Peace.